Hello, dear students. Dear sir and I, Abhinavanegi, welcome you all on Baiju's exam prep. Guys, many students, especially those who have just cleared the beta examination and have not scored well, or we can say not scored up to the expectation, and they don't have a wide range of opportunities, and might be they are missing the target what they have set set for themselves six months ago. In this situation, when the BTEC is already done and they have not achieved their target score in GATE or might be in a couple of other exams also, what should be the next step? Should they drop and give one more attempt or they can switch the line and, or they can go to uh, a private job? That is a big question mark for many of the students. For answering that question, case to case, people to people, student to student, we both are here. Over to Dheeraj sir. Thank you, sir. So guys, uh, those students who have appeared for gate examination and if they are not getting good ranks, good marks, so they would be aware ki what was the reason behind that. If the reason was like that day was not good for you or maybe you are finding that some silly mistakes you have done because of which it happens. Or you may be thinking your preparation was not up to the mark because you were getting lesser time at that time because of that you were not prepared well. Otherwise, you could do it. Then for such cases, obviously, yes, you should give a, one more chance to yourself. You should take one more attempt. But there are many students who may have given complete time. They have studied well and still they are not able to do because they are having fear with the technicals. They are not feeling good with the technicals and they are feeling that they are doing at the time of classes but unable to do in the test or whenever they are going to do in the like exam at all. So in that case, you need to rethink over that. For so that only this session we have kept. So here we are going to tell you about such conditions. What should be your decision for the next attempt? Okay. Uh, so guys, first of all, now let me clear one thing. At this time, the drop will not be a complete one-year drop. Unlike after your class 12th. Guys, this time... Uh, after your BTEC guys, what happened that after every two or three months, there are exams like BARC has just gone, then might be BHL will be coming or DRDO or HPCL or the PSU which are taking their own examination, state service examination will be coming. So guys, if your preparation was not 100% complete earlier, due to which you are not able to score well in gate examination, might be it is 50% complete, 60% complete, 40% complete. That means, guys, in seven, uh, in four to five months, you can complete your syllabus. And then after, you can say, after the August, ex August month, whatever the examination is coming on the way, you can hit them. Okay. So, guys, this is not like 12th class. You don't have to wait for a complete 65 days, complete one year. After every two or three months, your uh, new exam is coming, okay, which is giving the opportunity equivalent to gate. So, you can hit them. But... If your exam is not gone good because you have not covered the syllabus or started the preparation, that means, guys, you are allowed around zero level now. So then, guys, you should be giving your complete eight months. And then after that, you can hit the target. Okay. But for the students who just missed the target, guys, of course, after two months, three months, you can hit the new target because you just require some finishing touch. Over to you, sir. Yes. So, guys, that's why your decision will be depending on your attempt, the problems you face during your attempt and what were the things you are feeling key, the reason behind your failure. Because if you are not able to identify them, you may waste one more year of your life. So that is why you need to see where you have done the mistake. Yes, definitely. If you are thinking that the mistake you have done, you can cover them up, definitely drop is the good way to go for. Because obviously gate and other examination, they are giving you very good job opportunities. But if you are feeling that technicals are not for you, you are not good at any of the technical part. And also inside, you don't have any love towards technical that you are feeling ki nada. Like if you remember when we were in the 10th, 11th class or 9th, 10th class, there were some subjects we were having hate with. So we were always going away from that. So if you have that kind of feeling, then you need not to drop, then you need to choose the correct path for you. Because here, it is important to make the right decision for you then only it would be good to start with. Okay. So if you feel that you can, definitely you should start with. 
and for that then no need to wait for other month or next uh, two three months just start it now so that before time you are prepared for the exam yes so guys this is a very important point as mentioned by the sir that guys sometimes what happens that if after putting your 100% effort you are very far away from your target then that means that this line is not for you you can switch the line okay but it is only for those students who have put 100% effort and by putting 100% effort they are very far away from their target one more thing guys that sometimes what happens you are not very familiar or you are not very comfortable with the competition exams okay but you are not very comfortable with competition exam, but still you want to be in civil engineering line or mechanical or whatever your branch is. Okay. Your technical is not that much good. Theoretical, you are not very good, good, but still you want to be in this field, in technical field, this engineering field. Then in that case, what you can do, you can go for M Tech from a, whatever college you are getting from your gate score or from other colleges, which recruit other than gate also get an M Tech degree. And then you can go for off campus placement because after your M Tech, the opportunity the package will be better okay i'm not molding you towards the competition exam i'm just saying that complete your post graduation degree and then after thereafter you can be in the same field okay and but in private okay because anyhow for the government exam you have to hit the competition exam but if you are not willing to do that or not i'm not the correct word will not be willing the correct word is that this exam or this is not suitable for you still guys you can be in this field by going to the MTech and thereafter joining a off-campus placement in a private company. Okay, guys, any other suggestions you want or you have some other case also? Although, guys, me and Dheera sir have discussed, I guess almost 90% of the students will be in any of these cases. But still, if you think that you are in some other case or you have some other situation, you can write in the comment box of this video and we'll be happy to revert you back as soon as possible. Thank you guys. Keep sharing. Thank you. Goodbye guys for this particular session.